Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. We're going to be talking about properties today, not the kinds you sell or buy, but math properties, properties of specifically the commutative, associative, and the property of equality. And hopefully I'll give you some tips to help you remember which one is which as we go through this lesson. The first property, the commutative property, is shown like this. A plus B plus C is the same as saying A plus C plus B. Now, that's kind of hard to remember unless we have a special way to remember. For me, I remember the word commute. If you've ever heard that word, like maybe um, your parents commute to work, maybe you commute to school, it means that you move there, right? Like you drive. Well, in this case, you have A plus B plus C. You have the same exact three numbers, only they've moved around. Right? They've gone somewhere else. The B decided it was going to go to the M, the C, and they kind of switched. When you're adding numbers together, it does not matter if you move them around. That's basically what this property is saying. You, they can commute to wherever they want. You add them in whatever order you want, you're done. That's the commutative property. Another addition property is the associative property. And that means that it's usually shown with parentheses. The numbers will stay in the same order, like this A, B, C, A, B, C. But we're choosing, in this one, we're adding A and B first. In this side, we could add B and C first. In other words, it doesn't matter which order you add them. They're largely saying the same thing as the commutative property, only with this one, you're using parentheses or grouping symbols of some sort. And you're associating these two together first, or in this case, you're associating these ones together first. It's kind of like in school, right? These same three girls, maybe next time this girl in blue is going to be talking to her, right? So, but this time they're talking together, right? Maybe A and B are a little bit snobby today. I don't know. But either way, they're associating with different numbers first. In the end, you're going to get the same result. That's the associative property. And the property of equality is whatever you have on one side of the equal sign, you have on the other. So in this case, we added 1. We had A equals A. We added 1 to the left side. We add 1 to the right side. I've heard it called the monkey see, monkey do property. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. You want to subtract 6 from this side? Go ahead. Just make sure to subtract 6 from that side. You want to multiply 8 times A? Go for it. Just make sure to multiply 8 times both sides of the equal sign. That's the property of equality. All right, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. There are some subgroups of the property of equality that I want to talk about, but largely they're going to follow these same rules. Um, the reflective property is just, you know, when you have something, it's reflected exactly on the other side. A equals A. The symmetric property is that if A equals B, then B also equals A. So you can switch. If you've got something on one side of the equal sign and something on the other side, you can kind of switch their them, and it doesn't matter if they're on the right or the left. All right? So that you use that largely in algebraic proofs just to, just to make it look neater. Right? If you've got A equals 56,000, whatever, 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 you could also switch that around to 56,000, whatever, whatever equals A. All right? You can just switch them back and forth to either side of the equal sign. And then there's the transitive property. And this one here, I think, needs a little bit more explanation. Um, if A is equal to something, we'll call it B. If A equals something, and that same something is equal to C, then you can eliminate the middleman here, B, and just say that the first number is equal to the last number. Again, this is used in proofs. When you're trying to prove something, you'll use the transitive property on occasion. I'll show you some examples of these properties. All right. Let's do some practice work, see if you remember what we've talked about. The property that says A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C, we just decide to put parentheses around different numbers. In other words, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is the same as saying 1 plus 2 plus 3. Or 4 plus 7 plus 3 is the same as saying 4 plus 7 plus 3. This actually, this one here, is a little bit more practical because when you're adding three numbers in a row, maybe you'd add the ones that add up to a 10, right? Like 7 and 3 is 10, 10 and 4 is 14. It might be easier than saying 
4 plus 7 is 11, 11 plus 3 is 14. might be easier to put these ones together first. All right, this will be a practical use of the property, and it is the associative property of addition. All right, here's an, a property that says 3 equals 3. If we add 4 to that, 3 plus 4 on this side, we're going to add 3 plus 4 on that side. 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4. We have 2 times x is equal to 2 times x. Let's say we wanted to divide this side by x. We'd also divide this side by x. All right, that's the property of equality. Whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you do to the other side of the equal sign. All right, if you're dividing it by 2 on this side, you divide it by 2 on that side. All right. And our last property, a plus b plus c is a plus c plus b. In other words, 1, 2, 3 could be 1, 3, 2. Or it could be 1, uh, 3, 2, 1. All right, when you're adding them together, you can commute them to different places. This is the commutative property. And the final property that we're going to look at is if x equals 4 and 4 is equal to y, then x is equal to y. You see that? If a equals 6 and 6 equals b, then a is the same exact thing as b. They're both equal to 6, right? They're both equal to each other. n equals 15, 15 equals p, then n is equal to p. This is the transitive property. All right, so hopefully these examples and some tips might be helpful in helping you to remember these properties and keep them separated inside your head. I hope that this recording has been helpful for you and have a wonderful day.